The story unfolds in the South Florida port town of Blue Bay, where the youth gathered for a party. Carson Wheatley is introduced as the wealthy and spoiled 20-year-old son of a millionaire NASCAR car racer. After winning a game, he called his beautiful and sexy girlfriend, Rachel Thomas, who was accompanied by her friend Linda Dobson. Shortly after, another rich and spoiled individual, Shane Hendricks, arrived to challenge him to a race at sea. When Carson agreed, Shane revealed that his opponent would be Brandy Cox. Although Rachel did not agree, they continued with the competition. After an intense battle, Brandy was declared the winner and he invited her to join the celebration. Rachel, feeling envious, couldn't help but insult and belittle Brandy for her poverty. After storming out, she was followed by Shane. This unexpected turn led to Brandy and Carson bonding, culminating in a heated scene, in which witnessed by Linda. Meanwhile, Carson's father, Ted Wheatley, and his assistant George Steuben arrived. After entering his house, Ted was displeased with the chaos brought to his room, and was surprised to find Shane joined them, but he merely teased him. He then called Carson to put an end to the commotion, but Carson remained defiant. Carson harbors anger toward his father, believing he may have been involved in his mother's death to inherit wealth, a year ago. At school, Carson arrived to reconcile with his girlfriend and ask for forgiveness regarding the incident with Brandy witnessed by Linda. In his explanation that he only did it because he was drunk, Rachel immediately forgave him. Afterwards, the guard arrived to inform him that the police and George wanted to talk to him to report what happened to his father. While racing, his car suddenly malfunctioned, leading to an accident that tragically took his life, greatly saddening his son. Meanwhile, in his investigation, Detective Frank Walker noticed an old part attached to the engine of the car. He explained this to Captain Banchard, suggesting that Ted's death was questionable and needed further scrutiny. After his father's burial, George Steuben, Ted's lawyer, suddenly announced during the reading of the will that Carson could not inherit Ted's money and properties until he turned 30 or got married. However, Carson had no intention of getting married, which angered his girlfriend, Rachel. As the investigation continued, it was discovered that Ted's car came from Shane's garage, whose father was a mortal enemy of Ted. Unfortunately, part of the CCTV footage was missing, so they had no evidence. Meanwhile, after reconciling, their steamy moment was interrupted when the police arrived to arrest Carson for allegedly taking advantage of Brandy's femininity, a charge supported by Linda. In detention area, Carson negotiated with George, stating that he needed money to get out, but they had to get married to claim the inheritance. The next day, Carson's camp and Brandy's negotiated and agreed on a sum of $100,000. After the agreement, Brandy immediately traveled to a luxury hotel to enjoy the money she received. Carson followed, it turns out to be that they planned the whole thing, and as things started to heat up between them, Rachel suddenly appeared and joined in. As the three heated up, Linda arrived to lure them, but she also joined in, turning the whole room into a heat as hell. Walker's investigation continued relentlessly until he also questioned Shane, who only insulted the cop. Even Brandy was questioned, but he also got nothing. Worried, Brandy immediately met with Rachel, where it was revealed that there was something between them. Carson immediately married Rachel, making her the sole heir to the wealth. In the midst of their affection, Walker arrived again to report that there were developments in the case and to ask for additional information. Because of this, Carson also began to worry that Brandy might speak up. So, Carson and Rachel decided to silence Brandy instead of giving her a share of the money after she dropped the rape allegations against Carson, ensuring that all the money would go to them. However, Rachel and Brandy also planned to get rid of Carson so Rachel would inherit as a grieving widow, and the two of them would share the money. On the other hand, Walker visited Brandy's mother, where he discovered that Rachel and Brandy were childhood friends and had a connection. The swamp cabin where they used to hang out was also mentioned, prompting the detective to visit it immediately. There, Walker uncovered some things that were related to Ted's case, including the car that could have been the source of the part placed in Ted's car before the accident. One night, Rachel and Brandy invited Carson to a cheap motel in the Everglades, where they planned to make out again but in just three-way this time. While things were heating up between the two, Carson suddenly strangled Brandy. After a heated argument, Brandy grabbed the gun and shot Carson, ordering Rachel to take Carson's laptop. She did so, using latex gloves to type a fake confession letter, making it appear that Carson admitted to being responsible for his father's death and left a farewell letter before ending his own life. Afterwards, Rachel inherited all of Carson's wealth, but instead of sharing the money, she planned to keep it all for herself. Brandy anticipated that Rachel might do this, so she planned her own strategy. Brandy lured Rachel to a swamp cabin, 
their former hangout, for a plan to rekindle their love. As things heated up between them, they both attempted to overpower each other, and although Brandy succeeded, Rachel managed to escape. While being chased by Brandy, she fell for Rachel's trick, allowing Rachel to strike her. Rachel tries to kill Brandy by hitting her with a giant rock, but an old man suddenly arrived. Rachel went to the police to report Brandy's attempt on her life. Likewise, Brandy was in another room doing the same. They were separately questioned by Detective Walker, where he discovered that they both grew up in the same trailer park neighborhood and planned to find a wealthy man to marry and then kill to inherit their wealth, and carried out their plans. Walker is now confused about whom to believe between the two. At that point, Brandy incriminated Rachel by revealing a hidden blue bag containing a DVD showing Carson and Rachel tampering with Ted Wheatley's car, causing the accident, along with the bloodstains on Rachel's clothes from the motel, suggesting that Rachel killed Carson alone. Rachel was arrested and imprisoned while Brandy escaped unscathed. After closing the case, Detective Walker immediately retired. He went to a motor launch boat, where Brandy was waiting, revealing himself to be a corrupt cop who helped Brandy imprison Rachel for Carson's death to get a share of the Wheatley's money. However, in the middle of the ocean, Brandy tried to eliminate Walker by stabbing him with an ice hook and throwing his body into the sea. Afterwards, she escaped towards the Caribbean to get the money alone, but her boat exploded. Let's delve into the untold events. George approached Brandy, who harbored resentment towards the Wheatley family, to help her, and then he brought Brandy to Rachel to execute the plan. Rachel convinced Carson that Ted killed his mother to inherit the wealth. Brandy planned to use Shane's garage to sabotage Ted's car. On the day of the party, Rachel distracted Shane so he wouldn't notice what was happening in his garage. It was Brandy's idea to falsely accuse Carson for rape case on the day of the party to blackmail him into marrying Rachel and to get a share of Ted's money. Brandy and George met at the cabin to plan the bribe for Walker. During the interrogation, Brandy offers Detective Walker an early retirement. George made moves behind the scenes by altering Ted's last will and planning evidence for the police to find. After getting rid of Walker, George transferred all the money from the Shell bank account to his personal Cayman Islands account. He then gave Brandy a suitcase supposedly full of money as her share from the Wheatleys. It was also revealed that George orchestrated Rachel's imprisonment and made it look like she intentionally ended her own life. As Brandy drives away, it was proven that the suitcase contained a bomb, which was immediately detonated, killing her. George walked away with a whopping $155 million. In the final scene, it is revealed that George had another accomplice, Linda Dobson, who is revealed to be his wife. The worded lawyer of Ted Wheatley, George Steuben, was the mastermind behind the entire plan. George was a seasoned con artist who posed as a lawyer for many years, planning to steal all the Wheatley family's wealth, totaling $155 million. For more videos similar to this, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. Thank you for watching.